What's going on people? Gabriel said, hey, hey, the truth. And yes, we're back with another Build My Workout. I think my posing looks, yeah, a lot better this week. A lot better this week. Now, what I thought is I'm going to do the weigh-ins every time the phase ends. So just before we enter a new phase, then we'll do a weigh-in and see what the difference is, compare pictures and see what's happening. T-shirts are available at GabrielSade.com come if you want one but now let's get into the leg workout oh this beats hard this beats hard Stormzy watch out Chip watch out yeah alright let me drop some bars on this just before we get into commentary I'm gonna drop some bars yeah alright cool I'm at easy gym it's about to be leg day going beast small so I'm gonna need a segue what what? Stormzy, watch out. Mobo's mine next time. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> in all seriousness, this leg workout was good. This one was brought by Jake Fletcher again. Because you were, I'll explain it at the end, but not many people actually sent in many workouts for the mind muscle connection. There was loads for the further phases, but not for mind muscle. And I didn't really change much on this. I didn't really change much at all. The only thing I changed were the stiff leg deadlifts to the normal deadlifts. So yeah, Jake, spot on with this one. This one had me sweating. But the first set, this one that you're watching now, I really had to concentrate. Like the groove was all wrong. And this is what the mind muscle connection is for. So it's not, you're not going like super heavy. You're going at a decent weight, which will tire you out but it's all about making sure you get that mind muscle connection because I had to really figure out why the groove wasn't you know it, ju it just wasn't going down smoothly I was putting a lot of pressure on my knees and then I realized I'm not pinching my shoulder blades back the whole time my shoulder blades weren't pinched back and that was a it was a huge problem it was causing me to lean forward more if you if you want to go back to that first set that I did it was just yeah it was all off so pinched my shoulder blades back and it made everything a hell of a lot better the reps felt strong i felt it where i was meant to feel it you know it, you know a lot of people come away from squats and they're like oh i just felt it in my knees it just felt in my knees focus on the form especially in this segment mind muscle you know when you get to the bottom you want to be driving up you want to be activating the glutes hamstrings quads you want to be activating all of it and last week someone asked me um, why no deadlifts for back and that's because I class deadlifts as a leg exercise because a lot of people don't do it right they just use their back but the first part of the movement for a deadlift is the leg drive so if you see in this clip now when I come down I reset and the first bit the cracking it off the floor it's all legs it's not lower back so back is it should be for, to me is a secondary thing and being able to distinguish this and putting it in your leg day will then make you realize okay I need to feel my hamstrings I need to feel my glutes as opposed to I just need to feel my back and then the form all goes out the window I've seen it so many times that you know the back rounds like you're a scared cat and it's like it, it just it's not a good look it's not a good look so um yeah that's the reason why I put I don't put it on back day and yeah th this was surprisingly it was it was pretty tough I mean it's probably because I've been doing powerlifting stuff so I haven't really gone to like 10 12 reps on like squats and stuff like that I've always stuck with I've always been doing like three reps five reps tops kind of thing especially on the 531 program but yeah it was it was really good hit the right muscles at the right time and the lunges at the end <sighs> you know, Jake I'm not even gonna lie I was looking at it I was looking at the workout and I was like man if you were here I'd, I'd, I'd be giving you real evils right now real evils because that last weightless one to failure my lord I felt like I was lunging around the gym the first, that last rep just the last few reps were just about to finish me anyway I hope you enjoyed it on to the post workout meal I'll see you guys at home peace Alright guys, so back home in my sweats, relaxing. Just about to have my post-workout meal. First of all, I have 
I have got the rice with turkey breast, turkey boobies and vegetables. That is tomato sauce with thin tomatoes and a little bit of tomato puree, spices, very tasty, very nice. I also have this peanut butter and Nutella in flatbread, Warburton's thins, two of them. This is because I'm very hungry today, very hungry, so I'm going to eat. But anyway, I'm gonna chow down, I'm gonna relax with the family, edit some videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode four. But don't forget to send in your workout specifically for this mind-muscle connection. So what workouts do you think will be good for developing a good mind-muscle connection? That's what I wanna see. A lot of you have just sent in workouts and that's not what we're trying to do here, so, you know, mind and muscle is what we're focusing on now. We'll go on to the next phase and then I'll request more workouts for that phase. But for this one, mind and muscle connections. So send them in. Email's gonna be in the description box. Send them in just with, with the title, mind, muscle, whatever. And that's it. So I'll catch you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll catch you later. Peace.